Hello? Hello, teacher. Hi, class. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. And uh, what happened to you? <laughs> why why they cut hairs? Um, look? Yeah, it's it's very strange. Um yes. I have a friend, it's a it's a girl. She's very uh she's a very, very, very good person and she has a tumor in her brain. And um, yesterday was her birthday, and yesterday they had to operate her head. And she had beautiful hair, so they shave her hair for the operation. So, apoyo. <laughs> great, it's great. Yeah, so I shave my head for, you know. <clears throat> it, it feels very strange. I, I think I never shaved my head before. <laughs> Hey, but it grows back, so. Cancer is a terrible, can, can you imagine having cancer in your, in your, in your brain? Wow. Yeah. Okay, so um I only see Jose Isaias and Rafael today. So how was your day today? You know what I don't like? I can't believe how white I am. So, how was your day today? Well, um, in my cases, uh, oh, uh, it was uh, nice, but uh, the uh, it's a bit today is uh, a day uh, very hot. In Cotepeque. Yes, it's very hot. Listen, you live in Cojutepeque, Cojutepeque, correct? Yes, yes. Is it true that in Cojutepeque, every weekend there is like a food fair, food festival? I I, I can't understand. Repeat, please. You know, I... I I heard that in Cojutepeque, every Saturday or Sunday, there's a festival similar to Huayua. Yes. Uh, some people sold uh, chorizos. Sell chorizos. And typical food in the park, Central Park. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and Cerro de las Pavas. Okay. And that's every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, some, some, sometimes in, in, in the park, Central Park, but not every weekend. Uh, okay. Sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes not. So it's not every weekend. It's not every weekend. No, no. Okay. Okay. I would like to. I would like to go porque ir hasta Huayua, man, is <laughs> far. I think Ojutepec is what forty-five minutes from San Salvador. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, depend of the the traffic. Because in Sayapango is terrible, but if 
if don't have uh, traffic, uh, 30, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Okay. All right. Hey, Allison. Hello, teacher. No traffic today. Uh, no, I work from home, but uh, yesterday I went to a doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. Are you better now? Are you okay now? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm okay. All right, cool. And the two Claudias are online. You know, Claudia, Maria, my friend, the one that has cancer, she looks like you. Really? Yeah. So it was very sad to see when they started cutting her hair. And she said, oh, man, look at my beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. So sad. But you know what I don't like? A lot of friends, we said, hey, let's shave our head para apoyarla, right? I said, yeah, I, I, me lo dudé. Okay, let's do it. Boom. Until right now, I am the only one. <laughs> Nobody has done it. <laughs> and I said, hey, hey, what the hell, man? <laughs> sí, sí, es que, es que, no, no, estoy, no, no, come on, man. Just do it. <laughs> but that's a good thing to support her. <laughs> Of course, yeah. You know, I had a I had a person that told me, "What is that gonna do for her? What? Why is that good for her?" And I said, "My father and my mother died of cancer, and when when you're dying or when you're very sick, you really appreciate any any anything from a friend." And I know that was very hard for her, and I told this person. Nobody wants to shave their head. Nobody. So it was very hard for her to lose her hair. So I shaved my head. So hey, it's okay. Don't worry. You know, it's just a symbol, sim symbolic, I think. Did she already saw you? See you? Um. I don't know because I don't think she got operated yesterday. Oh. So uh she's in the United States, so I don't know. I mean I am I am constantly writing, but I'm waiting I'm waiting for good news. So but she will see it, I guess. She will. Okay, let me see. Let's finish this. Okay, do you see the lady? Yes. 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 All right. Let me share sound. Okay. So we did mix conditionals. We did this. We did this. Okay, in this class, participants will will talk. We'll learn vocabulary and to talk about travel. This is what we started yesterday. Remember, cul culturally aware, culturally sensitive. Do you understand what cult? Oh yeah, can you give me an example of culturally sentence? I, I use this example. I I use this sentence today in the morning. In fact, for example, um, I am very culture sensitive when it's um, when it's movies about the Holocaust. I, I love to watch movies about history and everything, but I don't like the Holocaust. Like, have you seen The Pianist? Yes, The Children's List. The Children's List, yes. Those movies I will never see again, and I don't want to see them. They have a very, very deep impact in me. I'm very sensitive to that. It gets me very, very angry. That's why I don't believe in God. And um, 
So in that case, I am culturally sensitive. Okay, so we did that yesterday, remember? So, instructions. Read the article, then choose the correct words to complete the sentence. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paragraphs, pretty much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Rafael Antonio, can you please read the first two paragraphs? Okay. Travelers to a new city are often encouraged to take a bus tour. The thinking is that they can later return to place that cap captivated, cap captivated them. But that's nonsense. What you see from the inside of a fast moving bus is sanitized, sanitized and you will totally remove from the authentic side sounds and smell outside. Okay, so you understand that part? Can you explain to me uh, that paragraph, please, in your words? Rafael, can you explain to me the paragraph in your words, please? Hello? Class, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Rafael, can you hear me? Okay. Jose Saez, can you explain to me the first paragraph in your words? What do you think that is? Uh, well... Uh, the paragraphs say the travelers, uh, some travelers, to when they go to meet new cities, uh, they are very excited and you know, encouraged to travel in a bus. Okay. Okay, and then what, but the bad part is that what you see inside a fast moving bus is sanitized and unreal. Re utterly removed authentic sights, sounds, and smell outside. Okay, can you read the second paragraph, Jose? Me? Okay. Yes. Okay. The best way to experience. Any destination is by foot without an um, itinerary wandering where your spirit lends you. Even in the largest cities, the uh, how we travel long savvy. In the, savvy? Mm -hmm. Savvy travelers longest into the very center of the town and walk down the nearest street experiences the actual life of the people while looking into the grocery store and courtyard. You eventually get to many of the same sites that are on the bus route. The museums, the monuments, the city hall, but you will have witnesses so much more because you will have felt the contemporary life of the city you are visiting. Okay, good. Class, do you have questions? I have a question. What, sure. what is the meaning of Lunga? 
Plunges. Plunges. Okay. Meterse. <laughs> Uh, can you give me a sample? Like um, when you go, when you get on a 101 in El Salvador, a 101 bus, you just plunge in, man. There is no order. You just, because the buses are full. Um, I think the Spanish is uh, sumer sumergirse. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. And so, so Thank you. Savvy. Savvy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a very interesting word. What is savvy, class? I don't know. Have you seen hmm? Comprensión. Yes. But also, for example, have you seen an old person trying to control a, a smartphone? Yeah. It's kind of difficult for them, right? Yes. You know, so, aquí ya le he dicho mil veces, eh? aquí, donde? Aquí. But they try. The problem is that they are not very technology savvy if you don't know about computers very much what would you say i'm not a technology savvy i'm not what a technology savvy okay good uh -huh. i'm not a technology savvy i'm not a computer i'm not a computer savvy <laughs> Okay, so savvy you use for everything. Of course, when you go to a different country, you say, I'm not very cultural savvy in this country. I'm not very political savvy. Okay. Okay. Claudia, Maria, can you please read the third paragraph? Can you see it? Uh, yes, but not the. Uh, okay. But what if I get lost? People ask. No one ever gets permanently lost in the major city. Eventually, a trolley or bus passes with the world's central station on its front, and you can easily return to the center of town. Besides, the most wonderful things can happen if you do get lost, such as stopping at the sidewalk cafe to sit and relax and then asking directions from the locals the the next table. Hopefully, hopefully your trip may be mm, enhanced. Enhanced. Enhan enhanced. Mm -hmm. Enhanced. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, your trip might be enhanced by this encounter. Here are a few ways to make the most of your travels. What is Very enhanced? Good. I'm sorry? What is enhanced? Enhanced. Enhanced. What is the meaning? Okay. Class, what is enhanced? Do you know? Okay. Enhance uh -huh. is to improve. Oh, to okay. make bigger. Uh, remember I told you that when I got married, my friend, he sang in my wedding? Yes. Okay. Do you know the group Bronco from El Salvador? Of course. Okay, he the singer, he's my friend. Uh -huh. He told he told me an interesting story one time that when Cafe Tacuba came, you know Cafe Tacuba, correct, class? Yes. 
because I, I remember about this 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 um paragraph. The singer of Café Cuba told them, hey, let's take a bus. And my friends, no, 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 let's take a bus. I like to do this in, my, <laughs> in every country I go. So th the singer from Café Cuba, they just went outside. And this was many, many, like 20 years ago. They went outside the hotel and they took the first bus. And they finished in La Tiendona. <laughs> and they played Loteria. <laughs> Can you imagine? Nice. And my friend that was very fun. scared. <laughs> my friend was very scared. He told, why, why? And he said, oye, ¿por qué son así ustedes? And he was like, you know, it's okay, man. Mexico is the same. You know, Mexico's dangerous too. But but el cantante Café Tacuba también parece. O sea, no, no se distinguía. Because siempre anda vestido bien bohemio. So imagine but that they... You know when a person is, uh, is from another country. Not the singer from Café Tacuba. He, he really... He really but looks... But but the accent in for example, oh, yes. yeah, uh, when, by error I took uh, a street from the Mercado Central of the Mercado Central, sorry, uh -huh. and I didn't know where I was, um. and the people around me I know that they 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 were you know guns. Guns. <laughs> the gangs, but they helped me to get outside the the, the Mercado Central. Yeah, my friend told me he asked them all those questions. What if you get lost? What if this? So I can't get lost. All I have to do, I know there are taxis in all of Latin America. <laughs> I just I take a taxi. Hey, take me to the hotel. That's it. Mm. O sea, pero he, he he told me that he didn't complicate. Nothing. No se, no se complicó nada. So that, that was pretty cool. Can you imagine poder decir eso? Fui con el cantante Café Tacuba a la tiendona. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Me too. Every time I, I, well, I don't really go to other countries, but when I do, I like to walk in the street. I don't like to go to malls or anything. I like to eat in the street. Okay, so um, you understand what enhanced is then, correct, Claudia? Yes. Okay. Let me see the third paragraph. Allison, can you read the next paragraph? Uh, now, before you go, before you depart, spend time in a library or a bookstore learning about the... Oh, well, learning about the history and culture of your destination so you will better understand, understand the place you are visiting. Good. And now you don't even need to buy a book or go to a library you just do it on on pure apps travel.com or mm -hmm. okay can you continue please allison okay move around like a local use the local subways trams and buses mm -hmm. you'll not only save money you'll learn how people live there and you'll gain a realistic perspective of the city. Okay. Good. Boris, can you read the last two paragraphs? I'm going to try because I'm in my cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no worries then. Um, Let me read them because it's going to be complicated in your cell phone then. Check the bulletin boards. Bulletin boards list free lectures, concerts, workshops, and social gatherings. 
giving you a chance to join or meet the area's most dynamic residents. Take a walking tour. If you must book a guided tour, select the non-standard inexpensive kinds conducted on foot. So the next time you feel lured by a sightseeing bus tour, save your money and instead wander around on your own. I promise you a time you'll remember fondly. Last time I went to a Centro Historico, they have that. They have bulletin boards. Like in Teatro Nacional and everything. It was nice. Okay, so let's see. Hey, cartelera. I that would be the bulletin board. Ah, yeah. That would be the bulletin. Okay, let's let's do the listening. Listen to two people talking about their friend Sue. Then check true or false. Hey, Mark, did you hear about Sue? What about her? She found a thousand dollars. Really? Where? She found it while cleaning up last weekend at the restaurant where she works. Wow! Did she find out who the money belongs to? She told me she found it under a table, and lots of different people were sitting at that table all night. So she has no idea whose money it is. Nope. She's going to wait until someone calls the restaurant and asks about the money. She didn't even tell the manager. Why not? She wants to keep the money if no one calls about it. Hmm. But I think she should tell her manager. They might be able to find the people by looking at the receipts. Yeah, but on the other hand, if no one calls about the money, then why shouldn't she keep it? Well, the money isn't hers. I think she should at least try to find out who it belongs to. Maybe the person just forgot the name of the restaurant or something. Yeah, I guess you're right. If I lost money in a restaurant, I would hope someone would try to find me. Exactly. Not in El Salvador. Okay, so she found, Sue found some money where she works. True or false? True. 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 Sue tried to contact people who were at the restaurant on the night she found the money. True or false? False. 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 The woman thinks Sue should tell her manager. True or false? True. 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 At first, Mark thinks Sue should keep the money. True. 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 Okay, yeah. Let's do the second part of that. Listen to a conversation between a student and his advisor. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Cal. Please sit down. What can I help you with today? I'm just having some problems adjusting and I need some advice. Okay. What are you having trouble with? Well, I can't seem to understand my professor's accent. I've been studying Mandarin for four years, and it's discouraging to have to ask her to repeat herself all the time. That's understandable. But you've only been here a few weeks. Be patient. By next month, your Mandarin comprehension will have improved. I guess so. I didn't realize there were so many different types of accents. My classmates are hard to understand, too. Well, you can't expect everyone to sound the same. Where you're from, people have different accents, don't they? You're right, of course. I just worry about doing poorly in class. I'm sure your professor understands that it takes time to adjust to a new language. I hope so. There's something else, too. What's that? Well, you see, I'm vegetarian, and when I went out with my professor and classmates for lunch, they kept offering me meat. I felt rude refusing it. Hmm. I can speak to your professor about that if you'd like. Could you? Of course I want to be culturally sensitive, but I just don't eat meat. I'm sure your professor will understand after I talk to her. Thanks a lot. I feel a lot better now. So before arriving, Cal studied Mandarin. How? 
for four years. years. For four, for four years. years. For four years. Hal feels discouraged to ask. His professor to repeat for himself. For himself. Okay. Cal's, uh, Cal's advisor encouraged them to be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Cal is worried about offending his best mate and, and professor. Yes, offending. Mm -hmm. That's me Don't when some are sensitive. No, but you know, like sometimes when I go visit somebody and then they serve us food, you know how some people sometimes they serve you food and they don't ask you. Como bueno, let's go. Vamos a comer ya. Like I always like, please, please, que no me ha puesto crema. Please, please, don't put cream. Don't put cream. And when I see, oh my God, cream. <laughs> and I feel bad <laughs> because I don't want to offend somebody. <laughs> Okay, so choose the terms and words. What is something that is against the law? Doing something against the law is? What is Unfair. It? Unfair. Mm. Illegal. Yeah, what's illegal? illegal? <laughs> yeah, that's illegal. <laughs> Someone who is always in a bad mood is? Disagree. Talk disagreeable. Off the mark. Disagreeable. Okay. Punishing one person and not another for the same crime is unfair. <laughs> it's unfair. Yeah. Number four, being is telling someone how you really feel. Honest. Being honest. honest. Good. Honest. Being on time to work and doing a good job is responsible. Responsible behavior, good. Making decisions where you when you are overly emotional can be rational. Irrational. Irrational, good. Some parents are blank of their children's career choices. Disapproving. Being friends with someone so you can borrow a car is? Unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. Okay, part two. Circle the words that best complete each sentence. So number one, I wouldn't return someone's wallet blank a large amount of cash in it. Only. Unless. Honest. Okay. I would buy a new gadget blank. It really served a purpose that I need. Only if. Only if. Only if. I wouldn't give money. I wouldn't give money to charity blank. I had a favorite cause. Unless. 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 Well, you know, actually the two are possible. Mm -hmm. Blank. The job paid a lot of money. I still wouldn't take take it. I'd hate it. Even if. Even if. What is, what is one job you wouldn't take, even if it paid a lot of money? I will take it. I'm doing that thing right now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Yes. I wouldn't be a Uber driver. I mean, they don't get paid a lot of money, but imagine they do. If they paid a very, very good amount of money, I wouldn't do it anyway. I really hate traffic. I really hate how people drive, and I know I would die because I fight I hate, with everybody. I hate driving. <laughs> Yes. You know, I don't I don't care about the traffic because okay, I just hate irresponsible people, ignorant people. 
that they don't use yeah, vias, man. Cyclist. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number five. I would use a fake student ID to get a discount. Blank. I was really broke. Only. Only if I was really broke. Good. I wouldn't report a classmate. Blank. He or she had cheated on the test. Only. All right, cool. Yeah, we got them all. So I wish I so much at the party. Now I am embarrassed. So what do you think this is? Hadn't talked. Yes, I wish I hadn't talked. Okay. Next, if I had looked everywhere, I was going I blank over that tree root. I wouldn't have tripped. Sorry, Boris, do you have your fan on? Yes, sorry. It's okay. Thank you. So, uh, if I had looked everywhere, I'm sorry, if I had looked where I was going, I wouldn't have tripped over that tree root. Mm -hmm. I... If I... Yeah, so I wouldn't have tripped. Next, if only my professor blank less homework on Friday had assigned. Had assigned, yes. Had assigned. Mm -hmm. I wish I blank more times with my little sister growing up. I wish I had spent. Okay. If I blank harder, I could have been a professional musician. Have practiced. Have practiced. If I had practiced harder, good. Harder. Number two, by next month, Marcy blank her master's degree will have completed. By January, Paula blank Japanese for four years. Will have been studied. Yeah, will have been studied. Tyler blank by the time we see him next month. Will have graduated. Will have graduated, good. Soon we blank for three hours. Don't you think we should take a break? We have been studying. Yes, we will have been studying for three hours. Good. When Jenny comes to visit, she blank her new car across the count the country. We have driven. She will have driven. Have driven. Yes, she will have driven. Number six, by next year, I blank the violin for half of my life. Will have been. I will have been played. I will have played. been playing. Playing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we did that. And next we have fill in the blanks. Just type the preposition, no capital letter or period is needed. Judy is really looking forward her study abroad program. Two. When Darcy travels, she likes to be familiar blank public transportation. With. With. 
Yeah, we. Very excited. Blank living with a host family abroad. About. Yo dije about, huh? <laughs> Oops. One thing Kim is scared, blank, is not speaking the language well. Oh. Jeremy, oh. Mm -hmm. Jeremy is practicing, blank, the new cultural class. Is participating, I'm sorry. Oui? In. In. In, okay. Yes. Linda's parents are aware, blank, her interest in travel. Oh. Uh. Okay, good. Part two instructions complete the sentence with the following words assured, started, reliant, confirming, minded, sensitive, judgmental, motivated. So when you study abroad, you have to be self. Starter. Self-starter. Really? Self-starter? Okay. If you're not open, blank, you can miss some interesting things. Just remember to be non-blank about other people's customs. Judgmental. 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 Don't. In order not to offend people, you must be act oh, I'm sorry, culturally sensitive. 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 Okay. <coughs> It's easier to make new friends if you are self and not too shy. Assured. Assured. Self-assured, okay. Living by yourself in another country is easier if you are self. Reliant. Non blank people usually draw more attention to themselves. Conforming. Non confirming. To learn a language on your own, you must be self motivated. 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 Okay, now we have readings. I'm going to read part one. So if you have questions, please let me know, okay? <clears throat> Vain Magazine spoke with Sarah Campbell from the All-Star Women's Basketball Team. Here's what she had to say. Vay Magazine, Sarah, you've been a controversial figure this season. Can you talk about that? Sarah Campbell, sure. You know, I'm brutally honest and I say what I feel. Some of my team members have hard a heart, have, uh, sorry. Some of my team members have a hard time with that. They don't want to hear what they're not. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. Sure, I'm going to start. Sarah Campbell. Sure, you know, I'm brutally honest and I say what I feel. Some of my team members have a hard time with that. They don't want to hear that they're not performing as well as they could or that they're not working hard enough. Do you think that some of your words have torn your team apart rather than helped it? Maybe. If I had been more compassionate, perhaps people would haven't been so offended. 
I should have been more sensitive, but I can't lie. I think we can recover from this and become a better team. What about your personal life? Well, I don't really like to talk about myself. I'm pretty discreet. And I don't want to be in the spotlight. It's hard being me. What do you mean? I mean, I'm a tall woman with a loud voice. People are scared of me. It's hard to get close to people. What would you like to say to the readers about that? I'm actually pretty tendered. <laughs> you just have to get past through my exterior. Thanks for talking to us, Sarah. It was my pleasure. Poor Sarah. So Sarah keeps her feelings to herself. True or false? False. false. Sarah wished she had been more sensitive. Huh. True. True. Sarah likes to talk about her personal life. False. 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 People are afraid of Sarah. True. True. Hmm. Okay. So let's do this one. Hold on. Hey. <clears throat> I finally made it to Stambul. The bus here was crowded and there weren't enough seats. So some people had to stand up all night. If I had arrived any later, I would have been standing up too. As it was, I was sitting next to a man who snored all night. I finally got to sleep around 4 a.m. and it was so hot on the bus that I that it felt like a sauna. But an hour later, we stopped for breakfast and they had the, the rest stop was sweet pastries. <clears throat> I'm sorry. But an hour later, we stopped for breakfast and all they had at the rest stop was sweet pastries. The last thing I wanted was sugar that was going to keep me awake even longer. So I just ate some crackers and tried to go back to sleep. Not a chance. The upside is I got to see the Haga Sophia at sunrise as our bus arrived. What a beautiful sight. But Jenny had to stand up on the bus on, St in, on Stambul. False. False. The man next to Jenny had trouble sleeping. False. Oh, okay. False. No, remember he 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 was snoring. Yeah. Snoring all night. <laughs> yeah. It was hot on the bus. True. True. Jenny ate pastries for breakfast. False. 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 Jenny arrived in Istanbul. At sunrise. True. true. All right. Yes, it's true. And we finished. You know, talking about Stambul, have you ever seen a, it? The movie is very old, but it's a classic. Did you ever see the movie Midnight Express? No. No. Claudia's bodies, did you ever see Midnight Express? I don't remember that it's from Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie. It's a book too. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Man, that movie That's is a... good. Okay. It's um it's a true story. It's about the movie's from 1980, I think. But it's about a family that they go they go to Istanbul to visit, an American family. And during that time in Istanbul, they passed a law of zero toleration with drugs. Yeah. So the the boy in the movie he he got marijuana because oh man it was good. So he decided to take a little marijuana to his friends in, in the United States. 
but he didn't imagine it was a you know something a big deal. So when they were going back in the airport, was that the law passed in that time in Istanbul, zero tolerance. And they caught him with the marijuana in the airport. So they treated him like the worst criminal in history. And in Istanbul, they were happy because the first victim was an American. And that's where the movie starts. He was treated very, very, very badly in jail. And it came to a point that he was starting to become a little crazy. They raped him. They did everything to him in jail. And you know what happens at the end? He died. No, that's a great story that um, his family, his family, they se dieron por vencido, you know, they, they never, Istanbul didn't have any connections with the United States, any diplomatic. So at the end, they went to visit him and they gave him a lot of money and they told him, pay your way outside. Y cruza la frontera, cross the border. In Istanbul, and in the border, he will get asylum. So he offered the money to the security guard. And the security guard took the money and took him to a room and started hitting him. So he stole the money. And he was going to rape him again. And that's when he said, no, yeah, no, no more, no more. You can't rape me anymore. So they started fighting inside the room. And when he pushed him, the security hit his head or something, and he killed him. So he was like, oh, my God. So he put on the uniform of the security. So the beautiful thing about the movie is that he walked outside the jail. <laughs> he escaped walking outside. And nobody, nobody realized. That. No, because he had the uniform. And what made that movie so special was that when the government of the United States saw that movie, they, uh, they decided to all the countries that the United States has diplomatic relations. For example, if an American citizen in El Salvador gets arrested, he will be in jail in the embassy of the United States, not in the Salvadorian jail. So there, there is a jail in the embassy for, for, for American citizens. So United States, ellos no se meten. No, okay. All we ask is that he will be in jail here. You know, and you do what you have to do. So crazy. In the, in the, in the embassy. In the embassy. So after that movie, the United States changed the laws. It's a really, really good movie. It's sad. But the end is good. Man. When, when he escapes, he it's like he just told the what person... The what? Uh, what this name? Midnight Express. So he, it was cool because he told, open the gate. And you know, the guard, he just saw the uniform. Oh, he opened the gate. So you just see him walking, like shaking. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And when he started walking, he maybe walked like two or three blocks and he just started running. And he crossed the border. And when he crossed the border, Yes, I easily did asilo, you know, and he flew back to America and he told his story, but it's a <laughs> it's a very good movie. I recommend you if if you ever have like if if you are ever sick and you can't come out of your room and you're bored and you don't know what to do, watch that movie. It's good. Instead of watching TikTok. I think you're in mute, Allison. Sorry, I just talking to my husband. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. 
So um, do you guys have any plans for this weekend? No plans? I will visit my parents. Where? In San Vicente. Wow, that's far. I mean, from where you live? Yeah, it takes uh, one in half hour. Yeah. Do you take that San Vicente by Litoral or you just go the normal route? The normal route by Panamericana. If I if I go from the other for the lit from um, well in the literal it it's really longer. Oh it's longer? Yeah. Oh okay. I remember only one time I, I took that route from San Vicente to La Litoral. I think you come out by Olaguirta or something, right? Mm, uh, I think from Zacateco, Luca, from La Paz. Yes, and it was very scary because I did it at night and, and I didn't know where I was going. I was really like reading like, oh my God, don't this, don't this, don't mm. this. If you, if you went from San Vicente to San Salvador, that takes too much yeah especially in the past because it, it was in the actual driveway it's true it's true okay well class and thank you very much it's nine i hope you have a wonderful night i hope you have a wonderful weekend i hope you study that book i gave to you or read it it's it's, it's very cool it's very interesting all right, and I hope you really practice your English. And by practicing, I mean speaking. <laughs> okay? So, thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Uh, you too. Should I, use, should I use shampoo? No, huh? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. I, I really, I don't know. What, what do I put in my head? No, Nothing? Why? has a, a, a fashion soap so soap soap oh soap yeah you can use the fashion soap oh okay yeah i was thinking do i use shampoo or soap or what okay facial soap <laughs> okay <laughs> bye bye bye, bye. hey Suma. bye, bye. bye.